Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor. Thanks for joining us. An Alaska Airlines worker has been pulled to safety after being found in the cargo hold after takeoff. The flight made an emergency landing after the pilot reported hearing banging beneath the aircraft. Alaska Airlines Flight 448 was heading to Los Angeles from Seattle. When the pilot heard the noise after its emergency landing, officials found a ramp agent inside the front cargo hold. It is reported he had fallen asleep before the flight took off. The cargo hold is both pressure and temperature controlled. The plane was in the air for a total of 14 minutes. The ramp agent did appear to be okay, but he was transported to the hospital as a precaution. Uh, we are joined tonight by former NTSB Chairman Mark Rosenker. Um, Mark, always good to see you. Uh, this, we're waiting for more details on this, obviously, but, but it appears to be one of the more bizarre travel incidents we, we, we've ever seen. Have, have you ever seen anything like this? Absolutely not with uh, with an accidental uh, stowaway like this. Here, here's a guy who's going to have to not only explain why he was sleeping on the job, but how he ended up falling asleep in that cargo hold and then forcing the aircraft and the captain had no choice but to turn around and land. This cost the airline a great deal of money. And frankly, this guy's got a lot of explaining to do. Mark, how is it that someone gets left behind in, in a cargo hold? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, depending upon uh, if his job was supposed to be in that cargo hold, basically stowing the, the luggage and making sure that it was uh, secure, then, uh, then there, there's a lot of questions for the rest of the ground crew. But if he is actually hidden away and so that no one would actually see him as they were putting the luggage on, well, then again, I think this guy still has a great deal of explaining to do. And so how is it, Mark, um, I realize every plane is, is different and we're dealing with, with a situation that uh, not many people have seen before, but um, are you surprised that the pilot would then be able to hear him banging? No, absolutely not. Um, he was probably up closer toward the flight deck. He was pounding away. Remember, this sound will travel through the metal. Um, he was using something, whether it was his hands or whether he was using some luggage or something, to make enough noise that it uh, scared the pilot. He wasn't sure what was going on, whether it was human or whether it was mechanical, but he knew he needed to get back, and that's why he declared an emergency and came right back to Seattle. There was a story we, we followed recently of, uh, of someone who uh, intentionally cr crawled into the wheel well. That, that is obviously not temperature and pressure controlled, but, but the cargo hold is. Absolutely. Remember that they, they move animals in that area as well. So the, the problem isn't that he was going to either freeze to death or lose oxygen. The problem more was is if that aircraft hit turbulence, he was going to get thrown around in that aircraft, potentially breaking bones, maybe even breaking his neck. Uh, and I know it's different on every uh, flight uh, with every airline, but Mar Mark, how many people typically, um, uh, from an employee perspective, are involved um, in, in the luggage loading process and potentially have access to areas like this? Well, you've seen it as you've flown yourself. You've watched these little ramp uh, devices come up. It's a, uh, a device which actually moves the luggage into the, uh, the hold, and there will be normally somebody up in that area taking it off that device and stacking it and making sure that the luggage is secure so that when the aircraft is moving, uh, it is not floating around and, and uh, basically uh, uh, causing problems. All right, Mark Rosenker, again, uh, we are waiting for more details on this bizarre incident, but we appreciate your perspective tonight, Mark. Thanks very much. Anytime, Jeff.